Clinton Miner here from Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft. If you remember when we were processing the pine pitch in the, in the earlier videos, um, so we could end up with this, this great uh, pan full of fairly pure pine pitch, we ended up with what I kind of called the, the trash or the, the garbage at the end. It's uh, a lot of pine needles and uh, bark, twigs, dust, I'm sure there's probably some insects in there. All of that kind of was left over as we sieved through it. And it got to the point where it just really wasn't going through the sieve anymore. And I said something along the lines that we needed to figure out a way to mass produce that. And so I've been kind of messing with that the last couple of days. And what I did, I simply came up with this ice cube tray. It's a silicone ice cube tray. I wanted something fairly small. And uh, what I did is broke that that mass up, the mass of, of the leftovers, and filled these little trays and then microwaved it. And that microwave made it soft enough that I was then able to kind of smash it down. And it's not perfect. Uh, we'll, we were really trying to just test and see how you could actually process this. And it worked quite well. It didn't stick to the silicone. That was one of the problems. And I can get a shape any one way I want it if uh, we, we go forward with this. So what I'm going to do with this, we, the other part of why I did this, is I wanted to test some of these and see a couple of things. Uh, first of all, how hard it was to light. Second, uh, how hot it burns, whether you got a decent flame out of it. And ultimately, also, I want to see how long uh, something like this, um, something like this would burn. And uh, We'll continue to test that and kind of come up with some variations, a way to store it so it doesn't get sappy. Uh, we'll come up with all of those things, but I uh, wanted to just keep you involved in this process. So we're going to check and see how long it burns. Uh, you'll see that we've received a little snow here, so stay tuned and we'll run it through that process. We're going to go ahead and light that up and what I'd like to do at this point is just kind of see how long it will burn just by itself. I went ahead and sped up the video on this section. The burn time during this high speed process is about nine minutes and 20 seconds. I sped it up simply so we wouldn't have to sit and watch nothing but smoke and fire for 10 minutes. You can see, given the time frame before the sped up portion and the time frame after the sped up portion without any interference this chunk burned more than 10 minutes looks like it's about out we'll let it go ahead and continue to burn but I'm thinking as I put these together, I will probably be doing either a half or a third as much material, maybe make them into small discs or wafers uh, that can be used. I think that their potential as fire starters is fantastic. I don't think there's anything you could do to get them wet. They're just pitch and, and bark. I think that... Uh, We've got something that will go a long ways to ensure a fire in a difficult situation. And there it is. I actually knocked this apart. It is mostly burnt, but you can see here this brown. There's still quite a bit of pitch. I think what happened quite often when I start fires using fatwood sawdust, it will seal over with a 
a layer of burnt pitch that will smother the fire. And I think the same thing is happening here. Another reason to have an actual smaller amount would be that I think it'll burn more efficiently and we won't have that, that leftover in the middle. We're going to go ahead and try and start that up and see if, if I'm correct. And it looks like that's absolutely right, that when it uh, burned, it burned the outside, but didn't burn the inside. Still quite a bit of fire left in there. What we'll do is make it a thinner, maybe even broader uh, disc so that it's a more efficient burn. I'm going to go ahead and let that burn a little longer so we can kind of get an idea of that amount of this um, leftover material, bark, twigs, um, pine needles, that is left over after I separate it from the pitch, we get an idea of how, how long that small cube truly will last as far as a burn. Looks like that's about it. Uh, again, though, great resource, something that's a byproduct of another process that uh, we can use to prepare ourselves. And as we say here at Sage to Sawtooth Bushcraft, if you're prepared, you're never really lost. Thank you.